I've got three words for you. Good life granola. Because it's so good in my belly. Hey everybody, it's December 18th. We're a week away from Christmas. It's crazy. I'm wearing a shirt for Katherine Ernski. I wore a shirt for her last week. And today's shirt is for financialadvisorcareers.net. This is a blog that Katherine has started where she talks about financial advisor recruiting, where you can talk about the good and the bad, uh, getting good people in, uh, keeping the bad people away, talking about how to save money. I asked people to comment on her blog post today for iwearyourshirt.com. What are some of your tips when you're starting out? And lots of other things in the financial advisor world. It's very important to keep your money in line. So I thought I'd tell you guys my personal, these are my top 10 ways to bootstrap or save money when starting a business or when being an entrepreneur. I mean, I don't know, you're not starting to be an entrepreneur, but when you're starting a business as an entrepreneur, here are my top 10 tips from iwearyourshirt.com. Number one, you don't need lots of swag. It's not the first thing you want to go and spend your money on. I didn't get any swag for my company until way down the road. You guys may know my tiny business cards, the little t-shirts, these little post-its here. I didn't get these until way late in the game. You don't need them to start. Be yourself. Promote your brand. Number two, don't spend all your money on advertising. And this is coming from an advertiser. Find unique ways to spread your money around and test it and keep your money. You may just want to keep doing what you're doing and grinding it out. Sometimes advertising dollars are just wasted. Unless it's on t-shirts, then read my testimonials. Ching. But seriously, uh, I saved a ton of money by not advertising. I did use Haro though. The Haro ads are very good and that helped to launch I Wear Your Shirt's success. So big shout out to Peter uh, at Haro. Number three on ways to save money is spread through your own network. So what I mean by that is communicate to your friends, your family, Get your Rolodex out, go through it, email everybody, that's free. And if it's not free, if you want to make sure you're doing it right, use an email marketing program like NetAtlantic, and it's very cheap. It's a very, very, very cheap expense to send an email to like 500 people, it might cost you 30 bucks. Uh, and get your email out and talk to your people, don't sales pitch everybody, but just spread the word about your company, a very good way, very inexpensive. Step number four. I work out of my house. This is where I work. Uh, a lot of entrepreneurs, a lot of business people starting out can work out of their house. You can do all of your shipping stuff right out of your house through a UPS store, which is another tip I didn't add. Use UPS, uh, pretty good shipping rates. But uh, this is my office. I don't, uh, I don't pay anything extra for this. And as a business owner, I get to write this part of my house off in my taxes. It's like 10% of my home expenses get written off. That's a tip for you. Step number five doesn't work for everybody, but if you're going to have employees, don't employ them, 1099 them as independent contractors. Uh, for myself included, uh, I want to save as much money on taxes as possible, so you know I'm going to 1099 my shirt wearers when I add them. You should do the same for people that you hire. Number six on my list, if you've got a little bit of money, maybe just a couple dollars, make sure you spend it wisely on design. And what I mean by that is, you may want to spend a good amount of money on design the first time around, and that may make no sense as you're trying to save money here, but spend your money once, spend it well, and it will go a long way. A good logo, a good website can live on for a long time. The last thing you want to do is have to pay to redesign or redo a logo because it's, it's ugly or it's outdated or people just don't like it. So number seven on the list is a two-parter. Sell your frivolous stuff and don't buy the expensive stuff up front. We all want a new computer. We all want the iPhone. If you've got a working computer, you've got a working phone, you don't need to buy Apple just because it's cool. I'm, I love Apple. I recommend it to everybody. But I'm just saying, if you need to save money, use what you've got and sell the Xbox. Get rid of the stuff that you're not using. If you've got a car that's costing you money every month, get rid of it. You can get a $500 car that will get you around, I promise, for that six months or that year. It's a very good thing to do. Trust me, you can save a lot of money by not buying fancy cars. Number eight, keep on top of your cash flow. I keep uh, showing you cash. I'm not the most organized when it comes to my money, but the organizational system that I use works for me. I know how much money I have. I know about how much money I've spent. I could probably save a couple of hundred bucks by being a little bit more thorough. So get QuickBooks, uh, get something else, use FreshBooks. If you're billing people, keep it very organized. And PayPal will also save you money in the long run because if you use a merchant account, you may save that money up front on a couple percentage points, but if someone ever hacks in and gets your credit card data from your buyers, not good stuff. PayPal keeps everything really secure, so 
another tip for you. Number nine, and I did this in 2009 with my t-shirt wearing stuff, was to barter. Uh, if you're going to have a big brand or somebody that you can use that will be a, an influencer for you and help you out, give away your stuff to them. Uh, you know, Don't go nuts, but if there's something reciprocal that you can have done, it's a really good thing to barter. Use what you're selling, get somebody else's stuff, trade it. Trade is good, just don't overdo it. Number 10 on this list of uh, top 10 things to start your business or be an entrepreneur or bootstrap, whatever you want to call it, be yourself when selling. You don't need to hire an outside salesman uh, to start. Be yourself. If you know your product well enough, if you believe in your product enough and it's a good product, it should sell to the people that you're going out to. And don't sales pitch everybody. Get in the conversation. Be a part of the conversation. Search keywords through Twitter. Search.twitter.com is a great resource for you to find people talking about your brand or maybe the market that you're in, whether it's granola or something else. You can find people talking about your brand, engage with them, and give them the soft sales pitch. Hey, I'll give you a two for one, or hey, I'll send you something for free if you'll try it and then maybe buy it. Those things work. So those are my top 10 tips on how to save money early on as an entrepreneur or bootstrap a new company. And this video for Katherine Ernsky wouldn't be complete if I didn't make it rain. Good Life Granola is on Facebook and it's crazy delicious.